mix has always been a struggle because we like to put brassicas in it, but they get flea beetle damage, cabbage loopers, and it's too hard. So for example, when I'm talking about damage, you can see these kale leaves look really unhappy and not pretty. And we don't want to put this in for a quality product for our customer. So in our summer salad mix is um, a lettuce that we get called Salanova from Johnny's. Um, it is multicolored. We actually cut it and core it and then make a lettuce mix. But we want more diversity in our salad mix. That's why we want to add brassicas. Um, we also put green sorrel in it. Um, and we put nasturtium, but we want to put mustard in for our spicy mix, but it's a brassica. So it also gets the flea beetle damage. So we're trying to figure out a diversity for the summer salad mix, like we have for our winter and spring and fall mix, which is absolutely delicious. So this is our spicy salad mix that we do for our summer. We do a label that talks about the spicy salad mix. We actually put the date harvested so that hopefully our customers will realize that this product will last for 10 to 14 days in the refrigerator, much longer than what you buy in the grocery store. And like I said, we don't wash the nasturtium flowers or the leaves, but that's what the final product looks like. So we're gonna take off the wiggle wire here. Um, and the reason we're taking it out is so that we can secure the shade cloth before we throw it over so that it stays in place and we don't have to mess around with the wind blowing it everywhere. So to take it off, I just have a paint opener here. You can use a screwdriver, a flathead, or a knife if you can. And you just pop it out here. Once you pop it out, you can just undo it from the track by lifting and pulling down. It's pretty easy. There you go. Pull it out. Make sure you don't lose it. I put them on the inside. And that's it. So I'm just laying down rope and tennis balls um, in an approximate uh, couple of... Um, I'm just going by the bows. We're going to put one on the end, on each end, one in the middle, and then kind of two in between that. Um, and this is just to uh, uh, throw the shade cloth over the house. All right, so let's talk about how to do a clove hitch. So what we're gonna do to pull the, the shade cloth, and it works for plastic, mm -hmm. over the hoop houses, is we're gonna put a tennis ball underneath the fabric, like this, and we're gonna use a clove hitch knot to actually secure the rope. So the clove hitch, when you create it, is that you put a loop with the rope on top, then you do a, low, a loop with the rope on bottom, and then you put them on top like this, and then you secure it over the tennis ball, and you tighten it. So then we can pull the rope over, we won't damage any of the fabric, and it's an incredibly easy knot to take out when you get done. So we have a double wiggle wire track on our hoop houses. We only have a single wire in the top track where we have our braces for the, the roll-up sides. But um, you could use this track if you wanted to um, instead of the top track. We're just choosing to use our existing system. So we're going to wiggle wire the fabric um, into the track. But first, we're going to actually fold this fabric in half so that we have less likelihood of ripping it when we pull it across on the other side. So this shade cloth, um, we chose to get just the tape on the edges, not the grommets, because we weren't going to use them and we weren't going to use straps to go over our um, roll up sides. We're just using the wiggle wire track. But we were advised to get 50% shade cloth. So this is going to cut the actual light coming to this hoop house by 
Um, the other thing is that this hoop house is 30 feet wide by 144 feet long. I was guessing as to how long we needed to have this. So we actually ordered a shade cloth that was 40 feet wide. So we'd have enough length to actually pull it and tighten it. And 146 feet long, only an extra foot on each end. But I am assuming that I will not have to secure it on the um, ends at all. I'm hoping the sides will be enough. So the wind is picking up a little bit, but we are doing it this morning because typically the wind is lower in the morning. We're actually securing it on this side because our prevailing winds come from this direction. So we want, when we pull it, we want the winds to help hold the fabric down on top of the house, which is 100% more important when you're pulling plastic. So then it helps you stay it on. If we pulled it from the other direction, the wind would try and blow it off and we wouldn't be able to get it secure or tight. So it looks like the shade cloth of a 144 is too short. We're gonna have to stretch it a little bit. I think we can also make it fit, but we're gonna have to get up there on the peak, pull it over and wiggle wire it in two sections on the peak to be able to get it to cover the entire house. Um, and then we'll have our beautiful shade cloth in place. So, more details to come as we try in this experiment for the whole summer. Beautiful.